I don't, I don't, okay, to be fair, I don't usually drink Coke. Kickapu Joy Goose. Wait, now? No. <laughs> He's drinking Kipa Kao. I'm drinking from that, a flask. That's guys. not adult this drink, that's like, that's like Amma <laughs> drink. <laughs> Silver generation. It ages, right? You start here, and then you go here, <laughs> and then you come here. Why? This is like Ribena, I don't think it's sweet. Oh, that was Ribena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hello everyone, welcome yeah. back to the channel. This is the modern, we're the modern midlifers and it's like our podcast. So this is like the first time we're doing this. So we'll probably kind of go through kind of who we are, what we do, why we do this. And then kind of talk about <laughs> the whole concept of, of, of this, which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah, but, wait, but before that, I think we should just, you know, congratulate ourselves for finally kneeling at, uh, on, on, a, on a name, on a channel name. True. Oh, yes. yeah. We were called yeah. Funky Cheers, right guys. for a while. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I put a Google spreadsheet on. <laughs> and then I was like, I was like, guys, we need a, I like, the name's cool, but I think we need something a bit different. Mm -hmm. And then the Excel sheet remained empty for like a week. Yes. Until the day before like this event that we had to like produce a name. Yep. And then I, I, I don't know why I was on TikTok and I was like some, some midlife stuff. And I was like, oh, that shit is damn funny. And I thought it was very relatable. Do you so. remember what exactly was it? I can't remember what it was. I, th there's some instances before that about like I, me recognizing my own midlife crisis, but I was like, oh, actually, this seems like a very relatable topic. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's like mm -hmm. suddenly you see your friends at this age quit their job. <laughs> like, I don't know, go in a. I do, uh, start their own business. Start, yeah, 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 yeah. Start like, I don't know, baking. And the best thing was that morning, right? Right after the, the, the group chat name, the channel name uh. has been changed. Then I was having another chat with another friend of, of, of mine, right? And we are talking about some midlife stuff as well. <laughs> then he was like, if you were to do a podcast, we have to name it like some, something midlife as well. And like, I went to our group chat, I went to screenshot, <laughs> circle the name, this exactly just happened yeah, this yeah. morning. It, it, is, it is such a... Is it a millennial or a millennial? Is that such a... Yes. Are we millennials? That, yeah. Ah, la. yeah. Yes. We're not Gen Z. Yeah, we We're not Gen Z. We're Gen yeah. Y. Like, hey, why, why, why do you sound so judgy right now? No, it's like you're trying to make yourself sound young. You know? no, I'm just. What did you confused. think you were? I am just. <laughs> really? <Boomer>. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, it, is, it is just painful to realize. Okay, so I remember the specific point mm. where I'm like, oh man, I'm like halfway through my life. So, there was a research thing that came up, and then it says that. They recognize 35 year olds as middle aged. And all the like scientific stuff, like if they say middle age is like 35. Can you can like you don't I'm not prepared for this today? I'm so not He's prepared like for this. He's like now scientifically so, proven I think to be mid. Three out of four of us in this room are 35. She's not. She's like, can I, can I review your age? Yes. Fine. Okay, she's like 30, right? So okay, she's like, got, it's not that bad. So she's on the way. Okay. I see a month so before. Is she, is she Gen Z? No, 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 no. no. Gen Z is like... Gen Z is like... Am I? <laughs> am I? I don't know. Let me look out what Gen Z I don't Gen think so. No, would you like to be? Would you like to be? Gen Z. Gen Z. I'll be quite Z embarrassed H. to be Gen Z. Why? Because like, you've been bad-mouthing there. <laughs> you have to be between 8 and 22 well, okay. years old to be Gen Z. 8 and 22. 22. 8 and 23. Okay, that's yeah. really what's, far. What's 23 and... To so, then Gen what's in between? So, so it, it... X huh? or Y. No, it's Z. Gen Z is before us, right? No, between 23 and 35. Oh, oh. Whatever, oh, whatever the next generation is. So what, what is between us? Oh yeah, I don't know. Yeah. The millennials? The millennials X, Y, Z. Na. We're not X. X was before us. We are Y. So we are Y. Yeah. Oh, so the Y is like the biggest yeah, yeah, yeah. range. So I think it's Y, millennials, then Z. Something like that. Something like that. Okay, anyway, back to my story. So like, oh, yeah. And then there was this thing that apparently May knows about. And it says, you only have 4,000 Mondays. Wait, wait, wait. Let, 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 let May explain this part. Share, yeah. share it with everyone. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, the fourth, it's, the, not, the fourth, it's huh? quite straightforward, huh? You just like okay. I don't know, man. So it's like yeah. how how many weeks do you think you actually have, assuming that you die at eighty? It's for the entire lifetime. Yes, and you think it's like maybe in six digits, right? Like okay, uh, eighty seems very long, but yeah. no, you only have four thousand weeks. Technically, it's seventy six years, lah. Huh? But okay. Seventy six. Yeah. yeah, it's like four thousand. Yeah. Can, you, can it's, you imagine? It's like four digits, eh? Like, not even five or yeah. six. No, it makes sense when you say it out, but it's just, I never even <laughs> conceptualized that thought. And it's like, huh? 4,000? Then how me now, right? And you count, 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 right? Like, 4,000, 4,000 weeks times 7, 28,000, 28,000 by 365. It's about 76, mm. right? You thought to me 4,000 times 7. We are 35 already, eh? <laughs> if we are 35, uh, that means at the, average, at the average age of death is 76. 
That means by 38, right? Yeah, yeah. 2,000 of your wigs are gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Like, if that's not sobering, I don't know what is. It's like the slow march towards death, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And like, I was like, oh man. <laughs> you know, a lot of things suddenly like, oh, do you really want to waste your time doing this, trying to get, you know, that next post. I was like, man. This is the point where I just, I just like to say cheers to that. Cheers like, to that. Cheers to the yeah, 2,000 more that, that you kind have. Of cheers like, to that. Cheers to that. Yeah. That red race thing is like, man, this is so meaningless. So I was, therefore, <laughs> this period of existentialism and, and, and like the midlife crisis has, has occurred. So. But it makes sense, right? As in like, now that you think about it like that, that's why everyone at this age is just starting yeah. to realise, oh. Oh, man. Oh. Yeah. I, actually, that's I all... think it's a good thing if like eventually we all come to realisation of this at a certain point of time. But better earlier than like, later. Yeah, better earlier. Better than like, you're 50. And like, I, can you imagine? But I'm going to retire when I'm what? 60 something? 65? Bro, 10 more years you're dead. <laughs> you work your whole damn life to enjoy yourself for 10 years. Which is why the idea of retirement, like retiring and, yeah. and all, is, is is all being, you know, overturned right now. Like. Fire, right? Fire. Yeah. But was it financially Financial, independent retire yeah. early? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yes. Yeah, but that also, I see some of the fire like YouTubers, they freaking like, oh look, I'm living in this box in Southeast Asia, you know, like for like 20 bucks a day, you can retire too. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I you want to do it. I thought you wanted to like Okay, okay. Everything. I don't want yeah, to live yeah. in a box. I want to live in a villa on a giant <laughs> fish tanks. That's different. Okay, like, I don't want to... Re yes, you can retire and if you enjoy living in a box, you enjoy living easy and I cheap and whatever. That. I wouldn't no, mind no, that. Not yeah. I'm, 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 I'm you there. I don't want to do that. <laughs> like, I'm used to so never walk comfort. I'm not going to do that. You know, so like, yeah, it is cheaper. Mm -hmm. So I'm having issues with my job, right, lately. And I was like, my dad said, oh, you're going to get a new job. I was like, yeah, probably. And then I kind of sat down and did the math. Right? I was like, okay, a house in Bali probably costs this much amount mm. to rent. Could sell the apartment here, mm. move there and rent. Mm. Then essentially freaking retire. Mm -hmm. And I was like, huh, you know, maybe I should do that. And uh, it does seem very tempting. Like, I know a lot of stuff is here. It is, it is close enough to fly back and forth, but I don't know. It is still very tempting. I don't even go to Vietnam, right? You know, you know, eventually, like I mean, I would, I would like to Vietnam. explore somewhere else. I just find that I mean, things here are expensive and stuff, and I just want to be able to make more, make more out of the money that mm. we, we, we mm. earn, uh, yeah. yeah. And yeah, I, <clears throat> I mean, I've never okay. Just personally, I just never really had the best feeling of going to CBD areas, seeing all of these high-rise buildings and stuff like that. Just doesn't quite suit me mm. for my for my character, uh, So I thought, if there's a chance, I would like to go somewhere a little bit more down to earth, I guess. Yeah, something like that. Would you leave Singapore? Where would you retire to? I don't know. Honestly. Australia. <gasps> Actually, I thought of that before. Really? Yeah, but I mean, it's just as expensive as so <laughs> What's the <laughs> Is point? Is it really? Isn't it? And to be in like, in the first place, it's so hard to even get there and like to be able to live there permanently. What do you mean? I think that's like the, the criteria to go there and stay. Just pay money. Yeah. Okay, so I have to be like super rich no, but you have a degree and you're like semi useful, you can. But if you are super rich, then why do you even need to go there? You can just stay here. Yes. But you can, yes. instead of staying, if you're super rich here, maybe you stay in like a landed house, but if you're super rich, then you can stay in a castle. Yeah. Or a farmstead. No, but Australia property yeah. prices are so skyrocketing, skyrocketing, right? Maybe in the city. The, the atmosphere is different also. Okay. It's like, you know, yeah, everything closes like at five. That, yes, that too. The cafe vibe and stuff like that. Yeah, but the cafe closes at five. It's fine. At five, I do some other like retirement things. <laughs> <laughs> Read a book at home. I don't know. <laughs> Haven't gone there yet, okay? I'm five oh. years behind. Let me oh, come okay, back to you. Okay, okay. Five years. <laughs> oh, wow. okay. We're doing the math just now in the car, right? She's like, Oh, they went to buy drinks earlier and then they were very <laughs> happy that they got carded. The wait, 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 let's just say, we went to buy this, right? And at the cashier, when we were about to pay, then the lady was like, hey, both of you look very young. Huh? Don't mind I check your IC. The best thing is she had this like hesitant look on her face, you know? She like paused for a good one to two seconds first before she like, mm, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> Truly. And then both of us, both of us took out our IC. Very nah, easily. Take, take and <laughs> Please take. check. I wasn't there. But I don't think, I think I, she probably would have even asked if I was there. Yeah. <laughs> probably. I don't think so. Hey, yeah. uncle, you bring your niece and nephew <laughs> out. You know, I, I just said this comment to my friend the other day. Because I was texting her on Telegram asking, Hey, 
handsome money to help me in this. He's like, okay, okay. Oh, I was like, oh, feel shook. Yeah, we'll call me handsome. <laughs> then I was like, hey, anytime I want to feel handsome, I go to chicken rice store. <laughs> then he say, but like the younger, now 50 50. He's like, why? Because 50 50 is someone younger than call me uncle. <laughs> Last time it's sure fire. But for you, so I can you just go to the center. Hey, so I can't. Oh, now. Hey, I'm not. Really? Oh, yeah. It's 50 50. Yeah, oh, because sometimes it's like really young people working at the store. Uh. Oh my gosh, I've never thought of the day that people will see me and ask, like, hey, Auntie. auntie yeah. <gasps> Welcome, my, my dog, a few couple years back. My dog is still alive. This, this man, oh, can my daughter play with it? I was like, yeah, sure. He play the dog and say, thank you, thank uncle. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> This was late I was, 20s, I wasn't even like 30. This is what I had as so well. It was a couple of years back, right? And then I was doing some 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 uh, event in the mall, right? So I was interacting with the kid and all. Then after that, after everything, the kid was like just happy. La. Then the parents were like, uh, thank uh, this one return to uncle. <laughs> it is a, it is a totally fine and respectable thing to do. It's just it catches you off guard when you hear it for the first time. You're like, wait, what? Eat, eat the go, eat, eat the go. Like, you know, like it's just. Oh, this thought has stop. just occurred to me like right now. Like, like, like. My brain has not processed it. <laughs> One day, you need to let us know the exact moment mm. when someone oh, calls you auntie. Auntie. Yeah. No, has it happened yet? Uh? No. Okay, like, you look quite young. Uh. I mean, not when I go out and then like, you want to say auntie lah, it's still tia tia. Mm. Yeah, you know like neighbors and then wait, like call tia tia. You wait tia tia. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. that would be my moment eh. When you try, you that try like, if, if that's the case, how would you want to react to it? How how would you want to show up to that moment? I would be so choked up. <laughs> <laughs> just like... Imagine she's just crying when the little girl says auntie. And then it goes like... You try, you try. Focus on the camera enough. You try. No, no. Don't say it. Don't say it. Yeah, I cannot. How about, do you have a moment of that? Yourself? No, not really. Uh. Not yet. Because I have friends who have kids, la, so their mm. kids are like, I don't know, three or four. Oh, so they call uncle. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call me uncle for like the longest time. Really. I think my friend's kids have not, to, oh. haven't really started talking that much yet. La. I, I had that moment. So I was uh, so I was bringing my daughter out, right? And meeting my army friends, right? And then after everything, like I, I was just same thing lah just telling them to you know j- telling her to you know thank uncle mm. then they started no lah coco lah coco <laughs> lah and we're like okay lah i mean to be fair we're about like 27 28 that that, that time i uh, said call uncle call all the <laughs> 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 I, I mean 20s i don't think you should be called uncle yet lah no but the thing is you see the, because my friends are my generation, yeah, right? they call you and Papa, they call you Uncle. Yeah, th- that's why it doesn't make yeah, sense, right? Yeah, yeah. And we were already like nearing the thirties, you see. So, okay, what do you think is the okay? What's the acceptable age to call someone? <laughs> just, just don't, just don't, 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 right? It's like don't, don't call a pregnant woman. Don't assume a pregnant woman is pregnant. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. So, if she's not pregnant, then you call her what? Fat? Ah? No, excuse me, miss. <laughs> Ma'am? I'm you don't even add an adjective to the miss. You know, young miss, old miss, just miss. I'll no, just go no, sell to any young miss. <laughs> I don't know. It's like sell tie, that kind of thing. You know, for real, right? I, I have encountered people, right, who are insulted, right, when, like, I call them madam, you know. Really? When they're like, <laughs> auntie, then they want to be called. Uh, can you please call me miss? <laughs> oh, my. Hello, you're like. Why are you not married? Why are you, know? <laughs> you not married? <laughs> I had that moment, but with an undergrad. Huh? So I was doing an event in, 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 in one of the universities, right? So they came in a group trying to play some games, right? So I was, I was explaining to them, then I so one of them had, the, I don't know, some interaction, lah, right? So I said, okay, uh, I, I called her ma'am. Then she looked so horrified. I'm like, what? How was she? What? How was she? Undergrad, what? So oh, it was like their orientation program, you see? So, 19, 20, I guess? Then what you she wanted you to call? I don't know, but I, but I just went with that. So am I supposed to choose some other pronoun for you or something? Amoy! Nah, I don't know lah, but... Uncle! You should, you should, you know what? You should just call her some weird thing like refrigerator or something. You know, like all the people want to be called... Should I call you Dane call, call, call Karen. Pronouns. Call Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen. <laughs> no lah, that's different lah. This, this... Okay, the pronoun thing is, is different from this. Yeah, this is more I know, like, you're I know. 19. Yeah. What do you want me to call you? Like, like Miss, you know? I'm not even misgendering. It's just more of like, hello? It's like... How do I address? Okay, like maybe she's uh, sensitive about being called auntie soon. <laughs> it's so fun. fun! But you didn't call her auntie, what? No, I call her ma'am. ma'am. Like, what's wrong with okay, that? Ma'am and okay. madam is also did, quite different. Okay, yeah, it, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What's the difference? Okay. I mean, ma'am is like, okay, if you don't really know what to call the person, like sir and ma'am, right? Like, yeah. there's like a formal yeah. connotation to yeah. it. But madam is like... I think madam is true, more true, formal. True. I think madam is more formal. Yeah? 
Madam. I, I, I would say calling like some lady miss is a bit rude lah. It's like, you know, at the hawker centre, you like miss miss or something like to the hmm. person. Can you ask your miss about this? Yeah. What, what's your opinion on that? If someone random calls me at a hawker centre, miss is okay. I don't know, like, I find it a bit rude. What, what gave you the idea? Just don't call system. me auntie. I guess it can <laughs> sound a bit. Like a bit. Yeah. Miss, ah, miss, reading. what would you like? Oh, you don't okay. say like that. You're like, sure, die. Miss, ah, can you move forward, please? You call me like that, I'm so die. What's, what's wrong? <laughs> okay, la. No, that's no. madam is the more polite way to say it, right? There's nothing wrong with it, what? But yeah, there, there are people yeah. who take offense. That's very right. interesting. So do you ask her, like, what would you rather be calling? You know, I just How did she express like, that discontent? Mm-hmm. I, I, okay, I didn't... She was like... The, the look of disbelief, eh? <laughs> that, oh, so which is why I just I just quickly just went with the oh you want me to change into some other pronoun and I just quickly went into the pronoun and stuff. Uh. Yeah, it's not about the pronoun, I yeah. realized, but yeah. I just wanted to get away dummy. I didn't want to entertain that, you see. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of this man, madam thing, I was in the US and uh I was in like a, a condo building downstairs and I was passing something to a friend. And we were just talking like, you know, it wasn't we weren't screaming, but we were having a normal voice conversation. And then as I was about to enter the building, this lady like swung open the door and like like hit me la. and then like basically she was like harassing me for apparently being too loud and talking shit about her hmm? but I'm like huh I, I, A I don't know you I w- wasn't talking about you okay. and I wasn't that loud it was 8pm okay. so like what the hell right okay. I was like okay ma'am I'm gonna go and then I went and then she went back into the building she pressed the elevator so that I would stop at her floor huh <laughs> and then like I think she was on drugs lah Oh, okay. And then, like, she lived by elevator and then her daughter was trying to, mom, please get back inside the house. And mm. then she just kept yelling at me. I was like, man, that's enough. And she's like, why well, call me a man? I'm not a man. I was like, I said, ma'am. <laughs> I didn't call you a man. I said, ma'am. <laughs> and I was, so, I was like, I was like cornered in this lift by this really tall, tall lady. I was like, I, she's you know what? You. Yeah, and she was quite, I was like, I want to go now. <laughs> and then I went, I was so mortified. And then the whole man man thing was here. And the next couple of days, she saw me live with my dog. It acted like nothing happened. I know she genuinely didn't remember. I was like, oh, what a cute dog. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> she was probably no. really high. Then. Yeah. I'm, she well, had to be high. Like She had how? to be on something. Because, like, it, it, she was like a totally different person when I saw her like weeks later. Like, her dog was like, Mom, please come in. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Man. Man. I'm not man. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you hit the... Give me life crisis. Yeah. The moment? We had one or it's the moment? Wait, did we go through the... Four, yeah, the 4,000. I'm just going to take the moment Oh, we stopped at the 4,000, is it? So you see, huh? we've we got stopped some at the questions 4, here. We can't like... Yeah. <laughs> this was the initial font we have. We had to change it to this font. If this doesn't get more mid-life, I don't know what Oh, else. I used to laugh at my uncle. Yeah. Plus his phone, right? His yeah. like text size is yeah. like the largest. Yeah. It's literally like one message per, per blink. Mm. And I always laugh at him. Mm. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. So you know my office computer is a shared computer, right? So some other person, right? Wait, wait, wait. Is this is this font. okay for you to share? <laughs> but some person always changes the font to be so big. I don't know for what. What if what if your colleagues are re- well, are watching this? <laughs> then they know they're being mocked. <laughs> for now, well, someday honestly, you'll need the font to be so, set. So I, I share my screenshot of I play I play World of Warcraft with my friends, right? Like young Australian guys, and then. Like, I once shared my screen and they're like, dude, why are your buttons so big? Like the, the buttons we play the game, right? Usually it's really small, the icons, because you're not yeah. generally looking as like, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so like over the years, I've been like upsizing the, the font of the text in the game yep. and the size of the buttons. Yep. You know that's oh. something called glasses, right? Uh, <laughs> my eyesight it- is actually okay. It's just that I, I it's just, I just need it bigger. It, 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 I that do, means I see your eyesight is not yeah. that okay, no, But it's not blur, it's not anything, but it's just that, oh, there's just no need to be this small, you know? <laughs> so, you know, I've always used the MacBook on like, like more text, you know? There, there has like, there's an option for you to put more text on the screen, which means oh, it's smaller. Okay. And then one day, I connected it to, the, to a second screen, and then it changed to default. Yeah. And then I was watching, hey, actually... It's much better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm telling you, man, this bigger text thing is just that, you know what, I can live my life with slightly less information. 
<laughs> so wait, so 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 going back to that, did you after that did you change it to the default setting? I had a moment of conflict. <laughs> I was like, so why is it I now? feel like I'm admitting something if I don't if I don't downsize it. No, I, I downsized it. I can't. <laughs> I don't want to admit like Same. reality. Oh, you know when you go from 1080p to 1440 on your computer? Yeah. The resolution. You know how the icons suddenly shrink? Yeah. So when I changed to a point for I was like, you know what? I'm conflicted. This sucks. Because all your icons suddenly get really small. I was like, why are they so small? Mm. I can't see. Mm. Yes. You Tragedy. should buy it. What? Buy a bigger monitor. No, I have a 27 inch. <laughs> like, I have three 27 inches. <laughs> like, is this okay? But the first time I did it, I was like, this ain't right. <laughs> now, <laughs> you back, icons bigger. now you go back to your uncle with the phone and the, 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 the eye yeah, the yeah. watch and all. Yeah. Oh no, my God. His phone was so funny. His phone is so loud. Because he's also a bit deaf. <laughs> and he's a very big text. I was like, oh no, this is the route I'm going to go. Oh, this is really how we go. I, I, don't, I don't want to use the word end up. But this is really Become. how we are. Become. <laughs> Become. Projecting towards. This is a trajectory. Hey, I tell you, I see all my uncles. Uh, if I can... If, I, if I'm still walking around active and I still myself yeah, at their yeah, age, yeah. I'm pretty damn good, man. Like, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> there are worse things. There are worse things in the... To, I think for me, uh, the worst thing is that I don't mind losing my mobility because I'm not that mobile in the first place. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, but it sucks to lose your mobility. No, it, yeah, it, it definitely sucks. I don't want it to happen. Uh. But if I had to choose between like Alzheimer's or like my brain and mm. like my body, I'll 100%, 200% choose hey, my brain. You know, I always had this, had this uh, question, right? So if you have Alzheimer's, right? Then now you are scared you get Alzheimer's. But if you actually get it, right? You wouldn't know you have it. Mm. True. It's, 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 like, it's like being dumb or deaf. It's everyone else's problem. No, but you wouldn't know that. Correct. It would be, exactly. That yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's everyone else's problem. So you will be happy. Correct. Yeah, but but I, I guess there are some moments of clarity. Yeah. Maybe, you know, and you're like, oh man, like, wow. you know, I just be horrifying. I don't know. I don't know. Horrifying. I think maybe I don't want if you to can know. forget, maybe it's not so bad. But some people like or like having a stroke, right? For example, they like can't express themselves yeah, the same way. Wow, I think that's. Mm, oh, mm. for me, I think that will be like the worst way to go. I think. This just is truly not being like, able to express myself. A midlife conversation. Yeah. Like choosing which path you would rather have yeah. over the other. <laughs> and all the options suck. Right? Yeah. No, but, yeah, but yeah, if, yeah, if, if you think about it, right? Like becoming a cyborg is probably more possible than solving Alzheimer's. I don't know. Because like there are already like yeah, yeah, people yeah. with prosthetic legs and mm. they're running around mm. doing stuff. So like being like a full on like cyberpunk cyborg, hey, yeah. you know, next 20 years, possible. Mm-hmm. I like the positive Transplanting things. my brain to some other thing to make sure it is forever. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> They've tried, but I don't know. He still has a teenage in him, uh, being so hopeful and all. Yeah, right? Oh, I believe in science. <laughs> science. Science will figure something out. So apparently, they, they, this is this thing. If you live long enough, you will still die of either cancer or Alzheimer's. Yes. Mm. That is like the undeniable truth. You will either die or cancer or die. It doesn't matter. Or, or you might walk on the road and get hit by a lorry or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Like, these are the... Yeah, it, it's the, the kind of way you're going to go. Like, it's one of the... One of the... This is what I like to tell my friends. Like, sometimes when they, when, when, when they question like my decisions, I'm like, you know, it, the, the, the probability of me going out there and then getting hit by a car is... Yeah, do you know that yeah. Yeah. Was, there was that guy, the, the NUS professor or something. Oh, so yeah. So he was driving his car. Thompson, and the yeah. He came from the opposite side of the road. Broke the divider. And came over <coughs> and like, yeah. whacked into his car and he died. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 So sad. yeah, you know, people laugh at the people in the in the Ocean Gate Titanic yeah. thing. He's like, I mean, you could a lot of ways you could die. <laughs> you know, in a in a similar mm-hmm. fashion. <laughs> mm-hmm. But oh man. That's that's crazy. Can you imagine? It's so dark. Like it went real dark real fast. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, okay, that's like assuming we have still for two two what was your calculation? Two thousand seventy six. Yeah, Which? so about, for us, more than, a little more than 2,000. For you, more. Two, la. Slightly, la, yeah. Okay, so we have now until like the 2,000 plus. Left. I, I don't think we'll live that long. Plus, yeah, Mondays. I'm not going to live that long. Doesn't, but the concept of Monday blues is now so. You don't get to choose, no. Mm. But for all you know, maybe you've got maybe like 2,100. For all you know. Yeah. Maybe yeah, not I mean, even so long. Yeah. You don't get to choose. I don't, no, no, I'm not saying I get to choose, but like... Yeah. like I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Monday blues. <laughs> yeah, on oh, Monday blues seems less less painful now. Because you're like, oh, like, you know, I need to treasure the Mondays because there are not that many. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's like, <clears throat> I don't feel that upset about Mondays anymore. It's more like, oh man, I better make this Monday count. <laughs> I better make this week count. 
It's not what I'm like, just when... <clears throat> if there's something that I want to do at this moment, I would, of course... Probably do it, right? Yeah, I would do it, lor. Yeah. yeah. I, you know, I, it's always I, that problem. You also have to do something, right? But we have not enough money. I, I, I... Yeah lah, so... I depends on, depends on what you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta try all the while, okay? You know, you want... Yeah, I mean, everything in Singapore needs money. Like, what can you do that doesn't need any money? You could breathe lah, other than that, what can you do? Mm. Go to yeah, the beach and sit down. You can go and <laughs> contemplate you your life. Something to get to the beach, right? You can't just like walk there. <laughs> Okay lah, relatively speaking, the money for the bus, don't even need to take a grab there. You just take the bus and walk. So, or and you, can, you can walk to the beach because Singapore is small, that's what we have. And and we can cycle. Yes. I did try to cycle. Cycle need money, you, you buy the bike. Bicycle. So, zero dollars, just walk all the Guys, you can't live your life like this. <laughs> just, just accept some sunk costs, okay? Get a damn car, get a bike, <laughs> call it a day, alright? This thing's conversation will never end. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sad, right, that we are in Singapore that you want to do certain things, then... I mean, technically, not, anywhere in the world yeah. would also be it's that. It's the same like, one, anyway. Similar. Okay, I will say, I will say that the midlife crisis is very expensive. Yeah. In what sense? Um, okay, so, in the past year or so, I've gotten back into fish and, like, keeping corals and stuff, right? Mm. I have blown such a hole in my wallet. <laughs> Are you sure it has to it do with midlife or it has to do with your hobby? No, no, but my, my hobby came as a result of I'm so frustrated okay. with my daily life yep. of work. Okay, let's be real. I have a pretty easy job. I work from home. Nothing to complain. Okay, Please don't, don't yell at me. But at the end of the day, it is still mentally very draining to be like, oh mm. man, is this what life's already all about? That kind of, mm. that kind of thing. And then uh, I saw my cousin say, he asked me to go over help. I was oh man, I kind of miss this. And then I kind of looked into it again. I was like, you know what? I'm I'm more financially able now. Let me let me do it properly, right? Mm. Oh my goodness! Oh, such a oh boy! <laughs> like it's a lot of money, and then a lot of money. A lot of thanks later, it is still going because it doesn't stop. It's not like purchasing something, right? Like it's upkeep. It's one hell of a rabbit like, hole that you've gotten. Oh into. man, yeah. and like it's a very very expensive mm-hmm. rabbit hole. But you mm-hmm. feel I don't know happy. Some achievement, you know. There's ups and downs that are not work. And as someone who's like thinks a lot. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I can stop overthinking on work. I can stop overthinking on, you know, like existentialism and death and think mm-hmm. like, oh, my fish not eating today, why? You know, like, there's a, there's a different thing to think about and like, I I've genuinely feel happier. Mm-hmm. Like, my depression is like much better. Mm-hmm. I'm like mm-hmm. clinically depressed, right? Mm-hmm. So like, stop eating all the sleeping pills and stuff like that. So it is, it is better, mm-hmm. but it is no doubt like, something I did because I, I hated my life mm-hmm. like a couple of years back. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. Like it doesn't have to be all bad. I mean, I think especially if you know, I, I don't have kids. I don't have a wife. You know, it's easy for me to just can't do what I want. But I definitely think it's more difficult for people who have more settled down in life, a little yep, further yep, along, yep, and like more ball and chains, more shackles, and like you can't just. Okay, so I got to ask this to you all, right? Since three of you are single, right? So is being single part of the midlife crisis? Would you say that it's your midlife crisis also, or you just don't care? You're not single. I'm not. <laughs> so I'm gonna opt out. <laughs> you're not? You're technically not. <laughs> I'm not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Uh, situations you probably don't want to tell me. But yeah, I mean, I would say maybe. If I went on like dating apps and shit, right? <laughs> I don't pull the boss like, I'm like, I'm quickly drinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, please, please continue. Yeah. Right. So, oh, what was I saying? Oh shit. Dating. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So dating on apps, right? You, you meet people and then you're like, you know when you're younger and you date someone, oh, that person's attractive. Oh, I'm... now it's like, how much value add can you bring my life? <laughs> it's way more, more calculated in my brain. <laughs> I have a bit of difference in, in, in... Okay, so so I am going through a divorce right now, right? Uh, and then I had a friend who... It's okay, it's okay. No happy marriages ended in a divorce. So it's okay, yeah. But so I had a friend who was asking me like, so what's my take on marriage and stuff like that? And I, yeah, like I, I find that there's this, I don't know whether it's like a midlife thing as well, but it's, I got difference in thinking right now. So I find that it's, it's no longer about, I mean, yeah, in the past it's like, wow, this one, wow, good looking and stuff like mm. that, right? And, and what kind of job stuff. But to me right now, it's more of like, if, if there is someone who is um, as clear about herself, about mm. her life, about what she, 
it's, it's not just about what she wants in terms of like career and stuff like that, but it's more like having, having the deep understanding about herself. You know, what energizes her, how, how does she, uh, how is she going to manage her own emotions and mm. stuff like that. I think that's uh, what yeah, attracts me now. Like emotional maturity, so. self-awareness and management. Yeah, yeah. And having that clarity, you know, willing, the willingness to put in the work to gain the clarity in the self. That is one that I... <clears throat> Like, deep answer. Just want to know what she brings to my life. Yeah, for me, it's like, like, <laughs> like I, okay, I, I have very little male ego about this kind of thing. You know, like, guys are like, I don't know, like, specifically, like, some guys want to feel like they're the man in relationship and they must pay for everything. Mm. I never fucking, I never understood that. Mm. Like, like, I'm okay, it's okay to be generous and stuff, like, but I was like, what, what is this obsession with, like, oh, I must pay, if I don't pay, I don't feel like, I'm, <laughs> what? I mean, I don't have friends like that in my immediate circle. Maybe, mm. maybe a few. Mm. But like, when I hear some people talk about it, right? Mm. I'm like, they're giving... Okay, I was this friend, they're giving her relationship advice. Oh, you know, you must make the guy feel like, he's the man, you must then pay him. And then I was like, why are you looking for men like this in the first place? Like, what? <laughs> like, this is so insecure. This like, this, this... You also like, if the girls are, oh yeah, they're totally independent, you know, they're financially... That's even better, what? Like, mm. you know, at least you fall in love with this or you have a kid. At least things are comfortable. My, my minimum bar is like, whatever quality of my life is at now, it cannot go down. Mm. Mm. I do not want it to go down. Mm. If I'm dating someone who, you know, doesn't bring as much uh, monetarily, you know, yeah, my quality of life goes down. Bam, done, right? Mm. If you want to have kids, okay, then we both better be making a crap ton of money, mm. right? I'm not, no go, I'm not gonna, not gonna do it, right? Mm. But I think, when you are younger, you have this ideal path, right, as a young Singaporean. Oh, I'm gonna get married, I'm gonna ask her to get HDB, mm. right? Mm. But now you're like, I don't need any of it. Yeah, well, so. I don't need any of that. Therefore, I don't need a partner that urgently. So like, so like, okay, the, the whole HDB thing, right? Great. I think if you look at the world, it's a pretty good system, mm. I think. Mm. You know, everyone has high ownership of the house mm. and stuff like that. But I think the... the, the ownership. <laughs> okay, okay, well, you know, ownership. you own it for 99 years. Let's There's a whole thing. Die. You do make money off it. I, Our you know, assumption was 76 anyway. So yeah, nine, right. so, nine, so, well, yeah, pretty yeah, much, yeah. right? But the thing is, I, I think it's like, I mean, we've seen it, right? A lot mm. of our friends, very young, mm. early 20s, out of uni, get together in HDB, HDB, right? Yeah, but then they'll get the house only when they're like 29 or 30. Yeah, I guess, unless they can afford a resale or something. But, and then like, you know, a lot of things happen. But I wonder like how many relationships are really like, they go in for the house. But it's, like, it's not because they are greedy, but it's because like, if they don't do it, they can't get their own place. You know what I mean? At their age. So no, they're not getting the house at their age anyway. No, no, but yeah. they, I mean, if they don't, they'll be later and later and later. Yeah, so they have to start that process earlier. But it's like, how many people like, actually date with intention of, oh, I kind of have to find someone that's kind of okay, right? And then be able to apply a house so that I can have my own place, ask my parents and kind of like, continue my life. So you're saying that they settle they're like because... Rush. Yeah, yeah, and they're rushing in They the want things. the house. Yeah. But it's no fault of their own, right? It's just the property market really is like crazy. settling in the relationship? Or yeah. Settling for, for someone. For a partner. Okay. Yeah, okay. it's like, ah, yeah, all right, you'll do. You know? Mm. You know, and then like, well, we, we gotta go, top chop. You know, like, like, I don't wanna be 35 when I get my house, you know? And I think, I don't, I don't know. know if there's any detriment, or I don't, I'm not saying it is, I'm just... Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is why divorce rate is on the, on the rise right now. <laughs> No, to be fair, a lot of them reasons. It's a social norm to, you know, get married, get a house, that kind of thing. Yeah. But I wonder how much of that, right, is... Like what percentage yeah, of the why we, Why some relationships have the problems they do. Okay, let's be real. Like, I, I'm pretty sure all the people I've married now, right, I'm pretty sure the divorce rate is about at least 40 to 50%. So high, no lah. Yeah. Among people I know. percent Yeah. Anecdotal. What's the, what's the national? It's, I, I, yeah, I, there has been a recent yeah. recent report, I think. But it, go, 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 it, go. It, it is not an insignificant amount, I don't think. But I don't think it's 40 or 50. Maybe not, la, but maybe my own friend group. La. I believe it is one in seven people in Singapore is. is, is okay, so one in seven somewhere. actually do it. How many are genuinely <laughs> happy? Than, I guess we won't know that yeah. number. You know, but there are a lot of people stay together for kids. I know what well, my friend told me this. He's dating a lady who has a child. Um, and the husband is, her husband's mistress basically semi lives in their house, oh, okay. but that lady also has another guy. And I'm like, wow. and his girlfriend's 
still married to that guy and I'm like, huh? <laughs> it's a pretty complex relationship. Yeah, right? and like, yeah, I say divorce is not the only metric of whether something is failing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're, 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 to be fair though, I mean, it's not just the HDB thing that brings no, no, course, it out, course, right? Course. I mean, like all along, okay, like arranged marriages and like people getting together just because families say so. Mm. It's like always a thing okay. anyways. The, okay, my Indian friend was telling me arranged marriages actually somehow have a higher rate of, right? of non-divorce. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Interestingly enough. Like, even people back then who didn't really have a choice as to, like, yeah. who they wanted and just got a partner for the sake yeah. of it. I, I told my dad, so my a very good friend, Indian friend, and his, when he reached his age, right, mm. when he came from the States, his dad started sending him resumes of Indian women in India. Mm to like marry, right? Mm-hmm. It's a huge thing. And then so he had a business trip to go to India. He's like, oh, his mom's like, oh, I'll come along. And the mom set up this entire like, wow. uh, meet and greet session with the girl. And then he told me, wow, the girl, the whole kampong comes here, mother, father, brothers, the everything at the table. He's like, huh, what's going on? And then, then the resume uh, is like, no joke eh. It's like, grandparents, what they do, parents, what they do, what wow. school, your brother, sister, what school, okay. you know, like, what's the business, you know, that kind of thing. No like, wonder the Lady industry. skills, dancing, flower arranging, you know, you know like, take one like, has all these kind of things. Like, and that sounds like a business opportunity. You know? No, it's a huge, huge business. It's a huge thing there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do it like an <laughs> Do it with Chinese people. <laughs> yeah. but, but basically, he's like, it's crazy. It's like hotelier, like textile, like, I was like, bro. Like, you, you know what I want, yeah? You know? <laughs> and then he's like, oh, man, I don't know, I know my turn, man. That's like, allow you want, they want you, you know? So then I told my dad, hey, dad, you arranged marriage for me. And then my dad, my dad laughed. You know he said? He's like, what now? I want to sell, who want to buy? <laughs> <laughs> Your dad. Yeah, wow. and then he was like, well, I wouldn't do that to any poor girl, son. I was like, <gasps> oh. Yeah, so, guess he's staying single. I can't imagine that saying that. <laughs> yeah, my... <laughs> oh, man. man. It's, 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 it's crazy, this arranged marriage thing. Do you think you'll try it? Maybe we should do it. Maybe we do it for young people. Because you think about it, right? Everyone's so busy working, trying to buy their HDB <laughs> or like everything, right? Maybe we should do like some some speed dating show. But how will you get this? So you see, they have all the resume kind of stuff, mm. right? Right? Uh, to get to know like the family background, yeah. the, 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 the work and stuff like that. How is it different from the apps we have right now? You are still it's going through resumes. It's self-declared. Just self-declared. Yeah, the video, That's self-declared. Yeah. Like, yeah, but... I write my own profile, right? Not have this, like, middle person dig up everything there is to know about you, including your family tree and what your entire but, family but, which does. Which is why maybe arranged marriage itself is a, has a higher success rate than... <laughs> no, but, but you see, right? right? Like, if, if the parents receive the resume, they yeah. vet to who they like, and then they give it to the kid. And then at least the family is already on board, right? Yeah. It's like, as opposed to you bring back some... some so you see, other, okay, uh, so the formula is this. You need to get your parents to Sign write your us. bio on your Tinder profile. Then you show the, 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 the then the, the, the other person that, should go through their parents to go and swipe first. Yeah, you then they swipe about their parents remaining <laughs> to give them to swipe. Right. <laughs> Something like I watched on the show before, you know, in China, right? All the aunties, right, who have unmarried kids, then they go to this park, then they have a yeah. board with all like their yeah. like, qualifications. Are you yeah. serious? Yeah, yeah, they, they have. advertise their kids there. It's like a parade square oh, really? where they will they will put up like resumes like, like display. Wow. Alright? And like tons oh. of resumes on there and just go around go and pick the ones. You know what we should people. do? <laughs> we should we should bring you to Orchard Road and we should do like a <laughs> like a why you should date me thing for, for CJ. And we just put it there. He's like, this is my qualification, this is what I do, no no no. And then just sit there and see who comes up to you. No, but you need like a bunch, like you need options. Because that's the idea, right? You have yeah, a lot of options, oh, then you feel like you get to pick yeah. the best one. So you yeah, have to we, put we like... find some other really crappy people. Yes, exactly. <laughs> why, why must you... Okay, my, my question right now is why <laughs> am I supposed to be compared to someone who is really crappy? You want to say So that you can be picked. What do you think girls have friends who are not as pretty as them? Or okay, guys I have friends who are not as pretty as them? Right? Oh, so is that why? Why you've been friends with me for so long? Why, why they have girls that are not as pretty as them? So they can be the bridesmaid. Ooh, what? Yeah. Wait, what, no. what, what, wait, what? So they won't outshine them no. and they'll win. No, no, oh, yeah. no. That's not a thing, guys. No, but it's <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> no, it's so not guys. Shallow. It's the same as guys. It's the same thing. <laughs> so yeah. shallow. Hey, that's what no, my wait, female wait, friends wait. tell no. me, okay? <laughs> I'm not making this shit. I'm not making this up. No, <laughs> now they are thinking about it. The, the, the weddings are posted. Uh. <laughs> okay, I should not comment for that. <laughs> We are, we are oh, very man. pro-families on this channel, so that's what we want. <laughs> Object. <laughs> Object. Wait, 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 I was a bridesmaid before, okay? 
<laughs> oh, that's why she so upset. <laughs> that's why so triggered. Always oh. the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> Oh, oh, hit the spot spot there. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh boy. We're gonna get hell for this. Yeah, you know, you know what you're gonna get? You're gonna get a very ugly girlfriend. Hey, it's okay lah. As long as she's rich. <laughs> then how to find bridesmaid? You know what? I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Mm, yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, alright. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Actually, I don't know what you're doing. About? If, if I were extremely destitute, I would be like, oh yes. No problem. <laughs> you know. What if it's a royalty but just not that good looking? I think average is fine, right? I mean, I mean beauty and I would be older, right? It's royalty but not that good looking, right? What if he's like Rosma? Who's Rosma? Oh, don't know, don't know. Who? <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure Malaysia's oh. on our side on oh, yeah. as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah. Well, I don't Can know. You handle that? No, no, I don't think so. You, you need to compare human with human, la. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, calm down. <laughs> oh yes, Malaysia bully. <laughs> no la, but average is okay la. I think it's yeah. a pity the IWB holder thing, right? Like, it's not, not that big a deal. I think. That's so like such a textbook question. <laughs> so, what if she's not good looking but she has a heart of gold? You know, like. But men are very shallow. They always yeah. Mean. Actually, most some yeah. some women also la. I think that so girl. She legitimately yeah. told me like, oh, but you need to lose ten kg before but I date you. Are not so like into this good looking thing as men. I think women are just not as vocal about this. It depends on who. <clears throat> I've had. They be pretty vocal to my face. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, you fat boy, like lose weight. <laughs> you know, so hey, I, yeah. lose weight, fat boy. Uh, yeah, fat boy. I have friends who just say like, I'm like, okay, what's your type? And he's like, what about guys or guys? Yeah, yeah, my my friend's a guy, and he's like, girl can already. <laughs> Whoa, that's a very low bar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make See? sure he doesn't go so. to Thailand. He doesn't. Mm, be like, how is he now? <laughs> I mean, still single, single but. but I mean, he has had some. How are you still single if the bar is that low? I I don't pry. If the only requirement <laughs> is for them to be female, and this guy still have a girlfriend. Okay, but the point what? is, point is different people have different criteria. Yeah, right. Yes. Of course, of course. I don't think being a girl is a criteria. <laughs> this, this is a fact. Like, what? Maybe, maybe he's just not so into girls. Oh. Okay, maybe I was just trying to avoid the question. I'm also not yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you should try. Oh. Try what? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, the plot thickens. <laughs> yeah, but I think over the years, it definitely has changed. It's been, oh yeah, we're a hot girl. And I remember telling my friend, you know what? I want a really smart girl. If she's hot, yeah. You know? But mm. whether <laughs> she's smart. <laughs> because you can you can fix you can f okay look at Korea right South Korea like you can fix <coughs> things that you okay. don't like about yourself right your eyelids you can do whatever right for confidence for whatever you can fix it mm -hmm. how do you fix your brain uh, you, you can't pay money to fix your brain you have to like read or hone yourself and sometimes you just don't have the aptitude for it like mm -hmm. it's more difficult mm -hmm. so like trying to change someone's brain at thirty way more difficult. Good luck with that. changing your double eyelids. <coughs> you know what I mean? No way. As in like... No, I think you can uh, There's some mental shifts and stuff, but like... There are just certain things that are ingrained in you at that point. It's just changing the mindset lah. But yeah lah, the attitude and yeah. stuff like this. Yeah, really yeah. In terms of the emotional maturity, Yeah, yeah, yeah that was okay. very difficult, you know. So mm. it's like like... You know, you're more like, Oh, if I'm gonna actually date, date someone like... You can't date like a brat, you know? Like a... No, I can think of the old brats, you know. No, 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 no. <laughs> What's an old brat? Like just someone who's like 35 and still acts like they're 20. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, is that an image that came to your mind when you talk about that? You seem so you from your expression. Your, look through the Rolodex of your mind. It's like, I have a friend that fits this. You know, I think we all do, right? Like there is some person who's always stuck, uh, like kind of peaked at that point in their life and they can't move past that part of their life. You know what I mean? Mm. The kid that peaked in uni or high school. Yo, we all know someone like that, surely. Wow. I, think I saw I saw this video talking about like if you peaked in your younger years, 
That is very sad. That's uh, what I the mean, video said? Sorry? Huh? That's what I mean, the there were said. more, la, there were oh, more okay. like, but if you were to think about your life, right, and then you realise that, wow, my peak was when I was in uni, or when I was in 20, 20 plus, it's, it's quite sad. Because then, that means you have not put in the work to improve from there on, and that's why things are going downhill. I think, to be fair, sometimes it's out of your control. La, yeah, of course. Right? But I do feel those poor, like, you, when someone brings up something that they've done recently, it's great. It's, oh yeah, you know, last time, I was, I also, I was like, bro, like, we're not talking about last time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we're, not, we're not talking about army. Who cares if you were obviously in the army? Like, great, good for you. Difficult at the point of time, but like, how is that still your calling yeah, card this, of greatness? This last you know time what I mean? Thing, yeah. Like last time. No, I recently had that. So <clears throat> I was I was in a university uh, doing some events, right? And then <clears throat> so basically, what happened was there was this young there was this young lady who came forward, right, uh, in between the event, and then she told us that uh, she found a, a, a room card. Oh, you're still uh, not over that. Uh. Sorry? Yeah, I'm still very... A yeah, room card? A, a room card. What's a room so, card? Okay, so, so they, they were staying in hostel, oh. right? So, yeah, nowadays it's all in a room card, uh, oh. no longer in keys, yeah? <laughs> just say a key, la, a key, a key card, la, okay, 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 the key card, a room card, yeah, la, whichever. So she came with the card yeah. and said she found one. So she wanted to borrow the mic uh, to announce it. Mm. So okay la, I passed her the microphone and then she went okay, oh, we found yeah, yeah, we found a room card here, alright, and we were the owner of this room but, uh, which level, which room number come forward to collect it. I'm like, it doesn't sit right with me. Like I did, so I whispered to her, I said, maybe what you can do next time is to just announce that you found a card yeah. and, and then verify the, the room number when the person comes forward, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's like, oh, this is cool policy. Then she just she didn't go on any further. La. So after a minute or so, I just, I asked her again, this time now I went like, you know, out of my own curiosity, I just want to find out why is this school policy to announce the room number? Then she went like, even before I completed what I said, she went like, it's school policy. She flicked her eyes, she went off. How was she? So, okay, at that point of time, I wasn't very sure. She didn't seem, she, she, I, I thought she looked a little older than your average undergrad. Yeah. But she didn't seem young enough uh, to be, uh, she, she, but she seemed like young enough, n n too, too young to be a staff as well. So I mm. wasn't sure, right? But anyway, so, the, 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 but that, that's besides the point. I mean, you do you, I, I don't really care, right? I, I was honestly a little annoyed. Nah. But it was then that I realised I, I was, I, I, I was more mindful of my own, my own inner thoughts. And I started to realise I was using words like, uh, last time, then I was thinking to myself, hey, last time uncle also, you know, in, in student... Oh, so, so, okay, so at the end of the event, I realised that she's a student council member. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So at that point, then I was thinking to myself, you know, last time uncle also do student student leader. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, oh. so these, were, these were really my inner thoughts, you see. So I was thinking like, wow, last time uncle this, uncle that. Then like, wow, young lady, you shouldn't be like that. Then I was thinking, I, I literally had this, this, I, this thought like, now, now, you shouldn't be, you know, acting this way. I was like, wow, the words that I've been using in my inner thoughts, eh, this is really, wow, I really rich midlife, no? <laughs> now, now, Interesting. uncle, last time, young lady. Last time. Yeah. Former the glory. The, the last time Formal thing cannot, like, you know, uh, 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 we're going to stop this. Man. Yeah, it's just like, if you peak too early, like, I don't know what you do, you know. Yeah, it's just, I'm not like, you just live in those glories. Nothing wrong, like, like, good for you that you did it. I, I didn't do it, you know what I mean? But like, Gotta, gotta move on at some point. Yeah, yeah. You know? So the moral of the story is I'm about the words. Oh, you're an uncle. It's, it's, it's me. No, boy, <laughs> don't lose your damn key card. <laughs> it's just Room me card. being observant of my inner thoughts, that's all. <laughs> oh, oh did you hear this thing? So apparently people were losing their brain on TikTok when they were looking at it. And it's like apparently like half the populace don't have a voice in their head. Hmm? So when, hmm. when so like there are some people, so when I don't talk or when I'm alone, I there's a voice in my head that's talking. Yeah. That's doing shit, right? Mm -hmm. like, that's what the brain but, does. No, but apparently there are some people who are it's just empty. Where there is no voice. Is there this is a no, generational thing or what? No, no, no. It's just like some like oh, I'm 40 okay. of people, just just there, there's no inner that's monologue. Great. There's no voice. There's yeah, nothing. They are like such lucky people. That's great. And I'm like, how do huh? Like, how does that work? Do we all have voices here? Confirm. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Like, I I cannot I cannot Most imagine like what new yeah, thing about. These people like? don't need to meditate. They are like always meditating. Yeah. This is precisely like, why I try to. But what do they think about? Obviously, they don't think about anything, right? No, but there are some like 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 not dumb people. No, it's not a smart dumb person thing. It's just like just some people are not wired to like have this 
they're probably still thinking, but like a PC running background with without vocalized thoughts. Dude. But this it's study like, might be quite biased because it's it's like something that you No, it's not really a study, right? but it was more like when you're alone is when you think things, okay. is it a conversation in your head? Or, or what images? is it? Yeah. Like so a lot of people okay. don't have this voice thing in their head. A lot of people. Uh, or s- well, more more than more than we think. Like yeah. apparently it's like forty percent. I don't know like, I don't know where this number is from like, But the fact that there are people like that, I'm like, huh, really? And you look at the comments, like, yeah, oh. isn't this normal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested to find out like what what occupation are these people doing? Like what what are these people? I mean, even before we had occupation, that was already a thing, right? Like it must have been. Yeah. Well, you I, don't I need don't a job to have. What about living before language? What about cavemen? What about babies? Like? They can visualize stuff. Yeah. Like they have their own language, they right? Drink milk. But they have their thoughts, right? Oh my gosh, do babies think? I mean, what do babies dream? dream? I mean, it is. Yeah, but they're more like animals in that sense, right? They're just living. I mean, okay, just, they all are. They're just, but they all they think about is their next meal. Yeah, I'm so wondering if they think about more. Shit. I don't know. It's, kind of... it's probably not like conscious thought in a way that. We... But isn't it okay? This is so interesting. You know, is there a point where a baby goes from like milk, 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 milk? Ooh, like the ball went behind the couch. Where... <laughs> Like when you prominence. start to talk to them la, and they pick up like actual vocabulary. So like my language, dog. Right? I start talking to my dog, like. Well, no, your dog cannot talk to you. Well, neither can a baby. The baby will eventually start talking. Eventually, yeah. yeah. But the dog also eventually understands you. <laughs> you will not eventually start talking. Yeah, it won't. Next episode, baby <laughs> expert. Just, just because someone talks doesn't mean they understand you. True that, true that. Just to make his dog talk. <laughs> oh my god. Our babies are weird. Wait, okay, yeah, you're the only one that kids here. Uh-huh. See the... What was that? Okay, so what's the opinion now? Do people like having kids or people are not really so savvy about kids nowadays? A lot of my friend groups have kids. Mm. A lot. You guys? Is in what? I mean, do people want kids or not really so? The general consensus, you think, among the I people? I think the majority still want kids. At least, at least... <laughs> I mean, the, the, by virtue of my job, I would ask people like, whether they oh. want kids and all, right? Mm. So, yeah. So, I think most of... I haven't really came across... Probably only once or twice I've came across a couple that says they don't want kids. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how many of that is also because like, maybe they're just saying, saying that because... It, the, the reason why I ask that is because usually for weddings, you go like yam sing, tao sing, kui sing, thing, right? So to me, it's like, I want to respect the wishes of the couple. If you really don't want kids, I don't want to add on to the pressure. Tao sing, kui sing, thing, thing. And we I'll ask that, la, but like, I, I think maybe, maybe there could be a, a, a portion of them who are like, you know, my, my, my relatives just want to hear that. Uh-huh. So we're just good with that. But they, they're not telling me. La. But I've only had like one or two couples that have clearly told me they don't want kids. So then I would pick something else, mm. la, some other well wishes. That's nice. Then, yeah. But yeah. For your, for your wedding MC consideration. Yes. Very thoughtful. Yes. And considerate of what you want. A lot of my yes. friends yes. Are, have like one or two kids. You know, they're, they're happy. You know, they do stuff there. But sometimes like... I did talk a few of them and, I, and, and I, I didn't bring this up because then they said, you know, if I could turn back time and not have a kid, I probably wouldn't. But then they say that I don't regret it. It's just that I love my kid and all that stuff. But it's like, if I could go back and change it, yeah, I probably would have a kid. Because hmm. that took away a lot of their freedoms, a lot of things we do, you know, stuff like that. And like, I can understand it, you know. I remember my friend asking her mom, or not, not telling her mom, I think I was having some argument with her mom and then her mom was like, she should ask her mom. I mean, come on, mom. Like, like, you, you, if you could go back in time, you wouldn't have kids, right? And then the mom started crying, which is like the answer in of itself, right? You know what I mean? And like, uh, my my friend was like very matter of fact, like, She's like, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, she because I think I think I don't know what the conversation was, like, But she doesn't want kids, so. And I asked my dad the same thing. I was like, then my dad said, like, you can ask me this kind of thing, like, oh, kind of thing. <laughs> I, I, but in my mind, I'm like, I'm pretty sure answer is yes. Like, you, you save a lot of money, you know. I was not a cheap kid. You know, but like... It's the worst investment ever. No? Oh my god, yeah. terrible. No, it's not an investment. It's not an investment. <laughs> so, okay, it's just if, you, money. if you think your kids are an investment, you probably nope. should not have kids, right? Yeah, yeah I, I agree. I cannot stand that. Oh, I, agree. I have a friend, I went to a wedding once. He's like, oh, you know, when are you going to marry? You're going to have kids. Who will take care of you next time? I was like, I'm going to make enough money so I have two hot nurses to take care of me. What the hell is you, what the hell are you on about? Like, If you're worried that you can't have enough money to take care of yourself, 
How can you have enough money to have two kids? Like, come on, dude. Like, it's precisely why our generation became the, the, the sandwich generation, I feel. Yeah. Because yeah, we yeah. are supposed to be the kids that are supposed to take care of the parents yes. and stuff like that. Not saying I don't okay, want for to. For those who don't know who are too young, the sandwich is like you have kids, to, you have your parents to take care of, of course, yep. you know, maybe they're you know, not as well educated, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And then you have your own kids to take care of and mm. you are kind of kind of wrecked in the middle because mm. you have to mm. support both, both ways. And it's extremely stressful. And our friends like that, right? Whoa, it's like, and they are making good money, you know, and it's still damn stressful. Right? Mm. And like, I was like, what a way to live. Like, that's damn rough. I don't know. I, I, it's such a difficult situation. Like, why you, like, why did we get ourselves into such a situation in the first place? I, I, okay, I'm here out of the selfishness of my parents' <laughs> desire to have a child. I didn't ask to be here. <laughs> like, that, that's just it, right? No, like, but I, I mean, like, I, I, if, if not for how things were in my own life experience, I think I probably would be that as well. Mm. But I'm be, just, be what as well? Sorry? Be what? That, that sandwich generation oh, okay. as well, okay. right? Where, where you've got the top to support, the bottom to support as well. But I'm just wondering, like, why, why is it, that, how is it that we are supposed to be more educated, we are supposed to, to have so much more in life, but we have, like, many of us, I, I believe this is probably, like, maybe not the majority, but there is quite a substantial number of uh, couples right now who are going through this, mm -hmm. right? But how is it that we've gotten ourselves into this situation? I have opinion, but I want to hear what you think. <laughs> <coughs> I, you can go first. No, no, no. You need, you need some people to again for yeah, the task. Yeah, throat dry. <laughs> How is it that we got ourselves into yeah. this situation? Yeah. Oh, Actually, what, what, I wanted to... Sure. Oh, thank you. Yes, please. I said ice would be nice, so thank you, sir. No, no, wait, what yeah. do you think? No, I was going to say something else, actually. No, okay. as in, like, this situation is, 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 is difficult to say because you need to separate the thought of having kids, which was the question. Would yeah. you want to have kids with like the financial difficulty? Because the only reason I feel that people, okay, not the only reason, but part of the reason why people don't want to have kids is because of the financial strain that comes with it. Otherwise, you would choose different. I mean, that's one thing, but I, that cannot be the only necessary reason. Not the only, yeah, but like, yeah, like I think okay. here particularly, it's a lot bigger than. Like, okay, fair enough. Okay, my, my point to you of how we are more educated, but we're still here, is because we have peer pressure from dead people, which is tradition. It is tradition. Like, mm. it is the shackle on mm. it is uh, on, on the generation, which mm. is like, oh, well, you know, what are you going to do? You don't have kids. What are you going to do with life? You know, mm. like, you know, you should have kids. Like, it, it is you. literally peer pressure. Mm -hmm. From your family, thank you, from your yep. dead ancestors, yep. Yep. just because of whatever race you are, right? Like, you're supposed to have kids, or your religion, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Which is also, which, 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 which then brings me to the next point. Like, after all the education we've gone through, and, and we are supposed to be like, you know, we we have had trainings in like, what critical thinking last time. No, like we that, didn't. Yeah. Okay, we didn't have that okay, in okay, the, the generation after that. <laughs> yeah. the main, I, I had, yes. Okay. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you have a module on it. After that. Sorry? What, what, what is this critical thinking thing? About? So they've got like lessons. To teach yeah. you, to, to uh, the frameworks to teach you critical thinking. They got training. Was it you. useful? Well, wasn't that GP for us? No, not well, even. I wouldn't say GP. In a sense, in a sense. In, in, yes. Yeah, in a way, yeah, I guess. Yes. Uh -huh. Was it useful? Okay. Not for me. But, uh, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention in class. Well, like, I find it hard to saying? even grade on critical thinking. You know, like, like how do you assess? There was you were critical thinking. For it, uh? Yeah, I mean, we had assignments on like... So, we well, like, what were the KPI yeah, that you were supposed the, to... Yeah, what were the questions? Forgot. It was like maybe like a case or something and then you're supposed to write about it. No, we should get like a, an educator to sit in with us next oh, time and man. share like how's the education... They don't their face, change their voice. <laughs> yeah. Like, you oh. Hey, I got a friend who... Someone with no more bitches to burn. Yeah. <laughs> So we should really get like an ex-educator to come and join us so that we can, you know, uh, I guess to compare how was it uh, for us back then and the situation right now. Lah. So maybe more importantly, if you know of any ex-educator who... Uh, oh, you're is, one yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, who's unafraid of having bridges burnt. Please tell yourselves. Or you finish friend. burning them. Right? <laughs> I, I just think it's interesting. Lah. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm quite... Genuinely interested how since our time things have changed in it. Things are very system. different. We were talking about it just now. Like uh, two weeks back, I was in a primary school, uh, trying to do a workshop. Then after that, I had lunch in the school, right? And I ended up paying like four plus bucks for my bihun. Of okay. course, I added like some other stuff. Not like, exactly the education yeah, system. Yes, yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> but this is one of and one of the of his education. Well. No, that's just inflation. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I actually recently went back to my alma mater oh. and I spoke to one of my teachers. Your what? My, huh? How do you say it? <laughs> How do you say it? <laughs> How did you say it? <laughs> okay, never mind. How do you say it? I don't know. Alma mater. Alma mater? mater? How does the US say it? I don't want to say which school. Do not. Yeah. Then say what is it? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> <laughs> what, alma mater? I, I'm pretty sure it's alma mater. I can't I have I'm no like, Google lah, Google lah. Actually, it doesn't matter. My education has failed me. No, I failed well, my you education. You didn't learn Latin, that's fine. Huh? You didn't learn Latin, that's fine. Okay, what happened? Okay, so I recently went back to my alma mater. Uh, alma mater. Okay, that's good. Let's move on. I recently went back to my school. <laughs> Okay, and then, and then. Stage 25. Primary <laughs> school, secondary school, uni. Okay, it doesn't matter. So I spoke okay. to one of the teachers and it has changed a lot. Mm. So I think like even the behaviours of the kids, kids to me now, in school now, in nowadays, are very, very different. By the way, they have like aircon classrooms. Okay la. For a start. That's okay, okay not, not all, not all. Not all, not all, not all but yeah. yes. Yeah. But the kids expect to have air-conditioned classroom or they try to like work towards having, like scheme towards having an air-conditioned classroom. Oh, the, the kids we were doing, we were, we were doing that in school. We were like, hey, yeah, we should go to the computer lab. Okay, that's like the smallest of things though. There are other things that she mentioned as well that I think there's a very, very different mindset and like the way to discipline and to teach the kids also has evolved so much that it's very challenging. Yeah, in gist. I can imagine our my my you know, primary three, our Chinese teacher used to just have stacks of wooden rulers on the table, and depending on the how egregious your crime was, <laughs> there was a thicker number of rulers that uh, <laughs> that were like, I think it was here and like your thigh or some shit. Like that. And, <laughs> and the, was not allowed during our thigh and the what? rulers would break. You could have sued her, no? I don't. I, I was like nine at the time, and like this. Oh man, this lady. Fierce. Okay, that was like that's way off. Like even I don't even think you can like hit. N no, no. Yeah. Well, no, no. Even back then, oh, even back then. I don't. Yeah. Well, she did it. <laughs> she got away with it. <laughs> you know, and like a lot of actually a lot of this. I think I think in primary school there's still a fair amount of capital punishment. I'm pretty sure. No, that no off. I don't know. Really? I don't know. Do you? Okay. Unless you were in CCA. This was a okay. This was a bit of a side thing. When we were in secondary school, bunch of every Friday we would have assembly. Okay, assembly is that useless part of the day where you kind of go to the hall with your tie on. And just go there and mix this Yeah, one. and then, you know, they will do some talk or something. It's a complete waste of time. It's not, uh, well, to me, right? it's a complete waste of time. So, a couple of friends and I decided that we would skip. Was, was I involved? No, no, no. Yeah. We would skip. We were the same class. Yeah. We would skip. So, three of us ran to the fence, jumped the fence. There's a bunch of idiots behind, got caught, didn't make it past the fence. We made it to the bus stop. And we were like, oh yeah, home free, yeah, let's go to my friend's house. Bus came. Go on bus. I know this story. Yeah. I told you this story? No, you said it on the other video. Yeah. So then there were two, uh, there was a seat in front. I said, ah, I sat down. So two of my friends went behind. One guy was sitting down here. One guy was standing up like this. Okay. Mm. Blocking the, the last row. Mm. So after a while, my friends, one of my friends was being loud on his phone. And he, he stopped doing that. So my friend turned around. The OM was behind him. <laughs> operations manager of the school was behind ching, him. Ching, and ching. then he was like, and the operations manager was in the same CC as my friend. So Ooh. my friend had no way out of this. So he was like, and then it was just tragic. And then bus stopped, someone got off, and I turned around to look at my friends. I wanted to go sit there, right? So someone had just left my friend's seat. So I wanted to go sit there. Mm. So as I was walking to my friend, I was like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was like, what? I was like, oh, like, laugh. And then, no, I was like, no, no. Like, he didn't want me to get in trouble, right? And then he just gave up. And then he just did this. He leaned so I could see who it was. I was like, <laughs> I was like, no. And I was like, oh, no. Oh, right? And then, my friend just moved forward and he like, just pushed me to go off the bus. So we all got off the bus. We sat at the stop. We were like, what just happened? <laughs> so after they told me, the OM asked, hey, today you know it's family, yeah? He's like, uh, <laughs> Don't know. <worry. laughs> so, <laughs> so like we were like, oh no, it's so much trouble. So the guys like Monday after school can't see. You. Like, oh. <laughs> so the important thing was did you guys get the trouble or only? Okay, so moving forward the next week, we got called down to the office. Okay. It was like, oh you know, you were truant, like those people were attempted truancy, so they just yeah. got like, you know, like community hours and everything. Like you guys gonna get public caning. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Our school had public caning. Yeah, remember, we, we had, right? but <clears throat> I remember only once or twice. Right, right, right. So here's my story. So we, I was losing it. I was mm. like, 
and as much as I short of breath, I was like, oh my god, no. <laughs> and then I, I, <laughs> I was freaking out, right? And then they called our parents. And then they, they called my, my, say, oh, I called my dad, and I could tell my dad was being an asshole on the phone. So he's like, no, sir, we're just trying to inform you. I was like, oh, your father won't talk to you. He's like, do you skip class? I was like, no. What's this? Assembly? What's assembly? It's like, you just hear them talk about stuff. So it's not class, right? It's like, don't skip class. I was like, okay. <laughs> so my dad was like, man, he's just like, okay, whatever, right? He didn't care. And then, Turns out after that, they'll go to Kayla's. Okay? Mm. And you're like, oh no, it's gonna be so embarrassing. It's not pain, lah. apparently they put a book there, yeah, they hit yeah, the, it's just to ridicule oh, you, right? Bone thing, it's right? not, yeah. So then, <laughs> Wednesday, I remember Wednesday, I went to bed, I took a nap, and I woke up, my friend texted me, he's like, look at the news now. I was like, what? So I turned on the D, and they're like, SARS, school closure. Oh, sh- <laughs> no wonder! <laughs> so for like, right. for like, what, two yeah, weeks, yeah, yeah. right? We, we were the generation at yeah. So we were, I think this was sec, sec 3 or sec 4. No, like 15 or 16. Oh, I really hated that period. Like, sec- like yeah. picture, right? oh, sec 2, somewhere there. Yeah. I think sec no, 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 no. It was definitely sec 3, sec 4, I remember. Yeah. It was definitely, definitely, definitely sec 3, sec 4. That's how you were saying your first punishment. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. So like... <laughs> we, 2015, right? So, so that happened, and then it extended and extended. When you eventually went back, everyone forgot. <laughs> oh, wow. So we didn't... <laughs> How did I not know about this no. until I almost so, yeah, that was, was, yeah. oh, oh, I know it's such a great story. But yeah, so capital punishment is cool, guys. Like be, be, I don't think you need to worry about that now. But that man, it was Why does it sound like we are in two complete classes? You're like, wow, no, we were in the same class. class. We were in the same class. Wow, now we You were at assembly, yes. You were at SMB. <laughs> <laughs> I read, we, we left the class. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was funny. Well, so <laughs> I don't know where we were going there, but I think kids and schools and being education, different. education yes. being different. Uh, but I think uh, it's time to kind of wind up today. Mm-hmm. I think uh, I think we should plan to spend like thirty minutes, but we just kept talking, <laughs> which is great, right? Great time. So like, uh, you know, if you kind of vibe, it is kind of I don't know stuff. It's just old people talking about good old times <laughs> we, and like weird postulations <clears throat> of the future. We're not old people. We are Mid-life. young people. There are younger people. Oh, right. Whatever so, makes you feel better. Yeah. Right? Like. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So if you have any like, you know, anything like it's like solidarity. Oh yeah, that happened to me. Or like, if things you want to talk about or want us to kind of like, we'll probably look at the comments and like, you know, not sure. That was your experience, though. Yeah, yeah. Like, what was the defining moment for you? Like, oh crap, mold. Or like, I'm going through my midlife crisis. Look at all my tummy cards, right? That kind of thing. Like, what tummy are you guys? Yeah. Huh? What are you guys talking about? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what caning? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so, you know, that'd be fun, let us know. But I think we'll, this kind of the stuff we're going to be doing, yeah. like just visiting more relatable topics, do. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't really think we like to get involved with the job. Oh, as time of filming, no CPIV uh, without real things happening, we thought about talking about it, but I think uh, for the sake of some of our job, we won't. Um, <laughs> so, sorry to this point, but yeah. So, like, comment, and subscribe. This is CJ, and this is May, and this is. Set in and we'll have our socials and whatever but follow us and uh, we'll see you again soon bye say bye man. cheers oh and yeah edit cheers i'm gonna open my, 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 my open my